been a long time, three, four weeks or whatever, but I'm back with another update. So Barbarian Battle Quest is taking shape even more, as you can see. Uh, the big surprise this time is that I actually drew some art for what is going to be one of the stages in the game. This is going to be the village level, and it's not here yet, but I have some art for uh, big houses. So it's not going to actually look like a field most of the time like this. They're going to be these big... Uh, cool looking houses that take up a lot of that background too and you'll go through this side scrolling village which uh, will have some cool stuff in it there are some problems with the art I've seen now that I put it all in and set it all up with a tile map um, like the lettuces look a little funny there are some black spots in these trees I don't know why that is um, the boundary right here between the grass and the road is kind of funky and I'm not crazy about some of the grass color anyway so but it's a good, you know, rough draft uh, to see what changes that I want to make um, as I go forward with the artwork. So it took me a heck of a long time to draw all these trees and clouds and uh, dirt tiles and grass and fences. So I'm pretty pleased with the result of what I've done so far. So be nice with your criticism. Uh, also, the bigger part of what took me all these weeks wasn't drawing this stuff. I actually had this art done before that. The hard part was going to OpenGL. As you might remember, I'm using SDL libraries with my game, and SDL apparently isn't much of a powerhouse when it comes to rendering with uh, transparency and things like that. So a lot of people then turn to OpenGL to handle a lot of their rendering. So with the rendering, it took a while to learn OpenGL with uh, texture loading, transparency, and things like that. Uh, but now that I have it working, which took like th a little over three weeks, now it works great. I can call a bunch of bad guys under the screen here and get a rumble going. And if I did this and I had two, three bad guys with SDL handling the rendering, and then I added like two tiles for the background, like say one of those clouds plus a tree, everything slowed way, way down, and it was just terrible. So OpenGL was kind of a necessity. It took me a while to figure out, and it was a real hassle to do. But now that I've got it, you know, I don't have to worry about that anymore, and I can go back to moving forward with the game. So that's uh, everything that I've been up to the last few weeks, and I should be able to do some more updates now and not have to wait as long in between with some of the new stuff. So I've done some more planning on my design document I have, and I plan to have about five stages um, we'll see how that works out, and they'll all look graphically distinct, so I won't reuse any of this art. I'm going to have like a cave, a dungeon, the barbarian mountain village stage, hopefully some bosses at the end of each stage, and distinct enemies within each stage. I have some other ideas that you'll see as I go, um, and uh, I think I've, oh yeah, I've already showed the necromancer here, who is still like my proudest creation, because he summons his wraiths and runs off the screen. So for the time being, it's just going to be uh, add more art, refine the art till it looks a way that I'm really happy with. I also want to deepen the gameplay, so I'm just sort of jumping between those tasks as I see fit to keep things fun and interesting, but I'm still working on the project every day. Uh, in conclusion, I will show you another creature that I created, but haven't got the final use for it in yet, and that is the slime. So, he's pretty frightening. Um, it's not actually going to be like a monster. What I want to do instead of a, like a life bar is have a rage meter. Essentially, it's a life bar, but you have to keep your your barbarian rage high by doing things that give you rage. One of those things will be stomping on the frightened little slimes as he explodes into green pixels. And then you'll do things like pick up and shatter pots and kick chickens and just like pointless angry things that really don't have a purpose but go along with the theme of an angry little barbarian because I think that would be amusing. So that's something I'm planning to add to the game. So uh, that's the scoop. So let me know what you think of the art and if you have any suggestions and friendly comments. And uh, I'll be happy to take your comments and questions. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. And I'll have the links beneath the video. So thank you for stopping and catching up with me. See you soon.